In this video, I will be showing you how to make this awesome headband, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is open up Roblox Studios. If you do not have that downloaded, then there will be a link in the description below. So once you have that downloaded and opened up, just go to the new and base play and just double click to open that up. So once you have uh, your base play opened up, just go to the avatar and then a rig builder, then click on a block avatar. Uh, then make sure you have the explorer open. You can do that by going over to the view tab and then uh, clicking on this button right here. So once you have your rig selected in the explorer, right click on it and hit export selection and then save it as something like rig and then just save it wherever you want so now once you exported your character we just need to open up blender if you do not have that downloaded then there will be a link in the description below so once you have that downloaded and opened up you'll see something like this and then just hit a new file and general and before we import our character i just want to demonstrate the movement in blender if you have a mouse you can click on the middle mouse button to uh, rotate around like this and then you can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, uh, to zoom in and out. And then you can use the hold shift and then hold the middle mouse button and then you'll be able to pan along like this. Uh, and then if you don't have a mouse and you just have uh, your computer trackpad, uh, for Mac it's command while you have your two fingers on the trackpad and zoom in and out. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I don't really know how you do on Windows, but I'm sure there's a command key equivalent. Uh, and then you can just use your two fingers on the trackpad to scroll around, and then you can hold shift and two fingers. So if that doesn't help you, then just look up a quick Blender movement tutorial on YouTube. So now we need to import our character, and let's just first delete everything. So click A to select everything, and then hit X to delete. Click the button that pops up, and then click File, Import, Wavefront.obj. And then just go to wherever you saved your file. I just saved mine on the desktop and named it rig. So I'm just going to select it, then hit import away from to OBJ. Uh, then look around your blender scene. Probably won't spawn in the origin. So just deselect it and select it again. Right click, uh, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Then uh, right click again, set origin, geometry to origin. So now we have our rig in the origin of our blender scene and now we can begin modeling our headband. So just click shift A, add a mesh, and then just go up here to the circle. It might do something like 24, something like that. That's just changing the resolution, how many vertices, because if I change it to something super low, then you can see that it's kind of losing a lot of resolution, but if it's something super high, it's a perfect circle. Go ahead and click off of that, select it, then click G and Z. So we're grabbing it and then we're making it only go along the uh, Z axis. And now we need to go to the top and then click S to scale. And now go to the uh, little wrench icon right here. That's the modifier tab. Um, so we need to add a solidify modifier. And uh, what that will do is it'll give our geometry some depth. So if we change the thickness, you can see that we probably want to uh, bring this up a little bit more. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So make sure you have your mesh selected. Click tab to go into edit mode, then click E and then Z. So E is to extrude and then Z is just make it go on the Z axis and just make it go up an amount like that. I'm just going to paste the headband that I already created in here just for a reference. You guys can reference off it also. Yeah, so that's a pretty good thickness. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit shorter, I guess. The solidify modifier is actually working before it was just creating another circle, but now it's actually giving it some thickness. Okay, so add another modifier and add the uh, bevel. If you want the little uh, beveled look like I have right here. Uh, so the first thing that we should do is probably give it some depth, like make it to where it's really tall right here, but then short right there so just tab into edit mode and then go to uh, face selection and then just select both of these then click O to turn on proportional editing so what that does is if you click G and you just move it around it just moves around the objects we have selected but if you click O that will make a little circle that moves other things around it too you can also use the uh, little scroll wheel to make it select more or less so if you click S and X 
Um, then I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and then uh, that's looking pretty good You can go to edge selection mode right here, and then you can click s like that uh, Just go along scale these like make this a little bit shorter. So just go along and do that Okay, so I think I got mine looking uh, pretty good So real quick we need to make this little square thingy. That's really easy We just need to click shift a then add a cube then go to the side g and z g and y and move it over to right here and then s to scale it down adjust it to make it a little rectangle thingy so i think that's looking pretty good we need to add a bevel modifier as you can see it's looking kind of weird that's because we need to hit Control a and hit scale if you're wondering why that's working since it's a rectangle and not a square we need to apply that we've scaled it in different ways or else the bevel will be applied as if it was a square and not a rectangle so go to the little bevel thing and then just change the amount to be whatever you want so 0 0.01 works pretty good if you want to change this uh like how it's scaled or anything like i'm just going to click sz to make it a little bit more like that then you can just hit Control a again to apply the scale also i changed the amount that i beveled this one to 0 0.015 so now all we need to do is make the little strap thingies that come off so how we can start making the little strap thingies is shift a and then add a plane click g and z to bring it up then s and x to make it like that oh and then by the way if you haven't figured it out by now you can click command z to undo what you just barely did if i don't want that undo uh, undone whatever tab into edit mode click Control r and then you'll see that this little yellow line pops up use the scroll wheel on your mouse to make three of those appear use the scroll wheel and then make like three just click and then you'll be able to move them around but since we just want them centered right click and then it'll just make them go to the center and then i'm just going to go out of edit mode and just scale it like that i think it needs to be a little bit longer so go back into edit mode and then click Control r another loop cut will pop up and then just click and then right click. I think we need to add two more real quick. So control R right there and then control R right there. Click this vertice and then click G, G. So G twice, then click G, G again. And then we'll have that. And then add a solidify modifier to that. And then change the thickness to be somewhere around there. Add a bevel modifier change the amount that works pretty well so what i'm going to do is shift d right click so i just created a new one but right clicking uh just put it back in the same place so just go to the side view and then click r to rotate and then 90 where it'll rotate 90 degrees grab this right here and then g bring it over here and then tab into edit mode so just like this and then make sure you have your proportional editing on click in g and then bring it over kind of like this and then r and then rotate and then g and go to the side and then r give it a little bit of a bend so uh that's looking pretty good i'm just going to select this and then turn my proportional editing off you can click that button or you can click o whatever you want so this i just you know thought uh, is looking a little bit weird so what we can do is add a mirror modifier to mirror it if it's not mirroring perfectly you can put the the mirror object as this it will mirror it to this object so just click g and then i think we need to scale this down a little bit so s then g let's just shade everything auto smooth real quick so shade auto smooth okay so we just need a uv texture it real quick that's super easy go over here to the uv texturing tab or uv editing then just click open uh and then the link for this color palette will be in the description below so select these three objects hit command d and then just move over here on the x axis just so then we can apply the modifiers the modifiers is what's messing it up because like the mirror modifier when we join it we don't want to mirror all this so just go and then just apply it so once all that's applied, just select all these three, command J, and join them together. Now they're all one object. So now go to the front view, tab, and then A. Just click U. Once you have all that selected, then just project from view. So now it'll unwrap it like we're looking at it. If I clicked U and project from view again, you can see it's looking from the side. So I just want to have it kind of... Uh, uh, so by the way, while I was on this, I just clicked A and S. And that just selects all of it and then scales it down. So go on to the material tab while you're uh, in this and then click new and make the base color and image texture. Then um, don't click that button right there. Click this button and then change it to the color palette. 
Then if we go over to here to the material view, you'll be able to see the color. Uh, I like that color, but you can always change it. So now we need to export it. So click on that, go to file, export, wavefront to OBJ. And then I'm just going to save it as headband. Make sure to hit limit to selection only because we have our headband selected. That will only export what we're selected. So just click export wavefront.obj and then just open up Roblox Studio. So just go to the model or home and then hit import 3D. Just go to wherever you saved it. Then just click open. And then I don't really mess around with this stuff. I just click uh, import. So now you can see we have our little headband model and we can just position it using the tools that Roblox Studio gives us. If you're having this weird thing happen with the pivot, just go to the model tab, edit pivot, and then just bring this up and then just bring it to the center of your geometry. And then that should work. So I'm just gonna bring mine over here and mess with it a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you have any video suggestions, please leave a comment below and, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.